So you folks might have noticed this as well, but someone that seems to fly under the radar, and we don't talk a lot about him in relative terms, is Eric, because he's there every step of the way with Daddy and with his siblings. Nonetheless, Eric Trump doesn't get as much attention, but that seems to be changing, if only a little bit, because guys, he is in massive trouble. He is in so much trouble right now, based on some of his recent comments and on the fact that despite begging a judge for mercy, despite begging to have a case thrown out and not be dragged into court, the judge said no, and Eric is being dragged into court kicking and screaming. But I want to get to that in a second. We really have to focus in on the fact that Eric is maybe in the most hot water given some of his recent comments. Because a lot of people in Trump world downplay the violence that happened on J6, either saying it didn't happen or it was actually the left or it was totally overblown. But Eric in a recent interview, and this shows the criminal intent of him and the Trump family, at least in my view, is that he said in some ways the violence Violence was justified. I'll read you the highlighted portion. It says here, when I asked Eric about the potential danger of the sort of rhetoric and the sort of belligerence, he felt that there was fair game in it. It was sort of equivalent on the other side of the political discourse, or he felt it was the right thing to do because the election was quote unquote stolen. Holder told the British online outlet. So Holder is basically recounting an interview he did with Eric for that upcoming film. And he said to him, don't you think that what you and your dad and everyone else is saying is going to cause violence or has caused violence and he says if it does it's justified it's just what the other side does and Eric is one of the few people to actually come out and say it like this but again I want to get to Eric's troubles and you can tell he's scared by the fact that he cries and whines and moans in all of his interviews Paul I mean I, I can tell you more people have come up to me on the street in the last week and given me hugs saying we miss him so much I mean, literally, sometimes, Sean, with tears in their eyes, we miss the man so much. No matter what, what you say about him, he loves this country and he's willing to fight for this country. And I think there's a real good chance, Sean. I think there's a uh, very, very good chance. He'll be very happy. I don't know. I think somebody comes up with hashtag miss me yet. I think it might, uh, with each passing day, become more relevant. Uh Sean, she said literally on video, and we have dozens of videos, but I'm going to go into office every single day. I'm going to sue Trump and then I'm going to go home, meaning she ran on the campaign promise of suing my father because she didn't believe in his political party, because she didn't like us, because the people in Washington, D.C. told her to do that. It violates the Constitution. It's unethical. It's wrong. And you don't need to take it from me. I mean, listen to the dozens of videos where I'm going to get him. I'm going to get his children. I'm going to take him down. He's going to know my name personally. He's going to know Tish James. I'm going to follow his money. I'm going to follow. That's not. This is what you'd expect from Russia. This is what you'd expect from Venezuela. This is third rate stuff. And if the if Hunter's last name was Trump, that's all anybody would talk about. That's a big problem for this country moving forward. If we have a two tier justice system. Sure. And Sean, where are the prosecutors right now? You know, the same prosecutors that'll go after my father every single day for nothing, right? Just because they want to disqualify him because he's clearly the front runner for 2024, right? Where are those prosecutors? Hillary Rodham Clinton is a New York resident. Let me just kind of you know, break that down for you. She lives in Chappaqua, New York. And guess where Trump Tower is located? It's located on Fifth Avenue in New York. Where are these prosecutors? Where is the DA? Isn't that a federal, like, isn't that a... You know, isn't that fraud? Isn't that all sorts of offenses? It, I'll, I'll predict you know, where's this. Where's Letitia James in this whole thing? Is she just going to ignore this because Hillary happens to be in her political party? We don't where get this fixed. Where is that equal justice? And you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll lose the country, Eric. It's, it's over. But I got to roll. But... This is the biggest scandal. He is afraid right now, and it all comes down to this upcoming case. Again, I've talked a little bit about this before, but this is already a judicial punishment of Eric and Daddy and the siblings because they fought tooth and nail to not have this case happen at all, or if it was going to happen, to happen behind closed doors in an arbitration. And a judge looked at Eric, and he looked at the rest of them, and he said, no, your main goal here is maybe not even 
even winning the case. It's to hide the case. But that's BS. And so your punishment is you're going to get dragged into a court ordered deposition and you're going to have to tell the truth under oath about your potential scam. I want to read it to you. It says at the start of August, attorneys representing angry investors will grill Don Jr. Ivanka and Eric Trump in a case seeking to prove that the family knew a crappy business phone was a dud, but still hawked it as a business opportunity on their celebrity apprentice television show. The former president is the final deposition scheduled in the case, which will drag him into a closed door interview on August 31st. New York lawyer Roberta Kaplan's team, having recently obtained access to never before seen show outtakes that could prove damning, is expected to question the former president in an interview that could paint him as a grifter, but also his kids as grifters too. This is bad news for Eric. Again, he doesn't get as much attention as Don Jr. or as Ivanka, certainly as much as his dad, but he maybe deserves it because his comments were among the most disgusting. And whether it's in the civil cases or on the criminal cases, he is in trouble right alongside everybody else. And critically, why Eric is so awesome to watch is that he is the worst at hiding the fear. Listen to his voice. This is a man that knows that he is in trouble and so is the rest of the entire family. This is only going to get worse. And the judge punishing him by forcing him to go under oath, that's just the start of it.